Welcome back guys. It's ugly and windy today. Today we're gonna make some crappie sliders <laughs> for my surf guys out there. You guys know what crappie sliders are. They're that little grub that's made for crappie that works really really good for surf perch but we're gonna try to cook some crappie sliders. Basically sliders made out of crappie so stay tuned at the end of this video hopefully we can cook some crappie sliders. Today we are joined by Bob, Leroy, and Martin. Today's goal is to get Martin on a good bite. He has what he calls blue bobbers. He hasn't caught a fish all year yet, so today's the day. Let's get him on some fish. All right guys, we're gonna do it today. We're gonna unveil what we've been using, needlefish. Two inch custom pearl bikini and rainbow. It's gonna be sick. Pick them up, links are below. And of course, we're gonna hit it with the trophy trout super gel. Feels like a crappie. It, it doesn't feel heavy and it's not moving. Oh, yeah, it's not. Oh, there's some tugs. There's some tugs. Yeah. Might be a crappie. No That'll way. be cool. It's a trout. Might be a crappie. It's a trout. Right? Yeah, no, it's, it's not heavy. Are you taking vets? Oh, it, it is a trout. Trout. It's a trout. Oh, Ooh. Oh shoot. Let's go. Let's go. Very nice. nice fish, nice I haven't fish. caught a fish in a long time. I know. My blue bob <laughs> my my blue bobbers are gone. Hell yeah. Alright, number one. On yes, sir. I've never heard the term blue bobbers until he said it <laughs> this morning. <laughs> so we're on the board. We are on the board. One trout. And it's been like 10 minutes, so. We're on a pretty good streak here. Let's keep it going. We're gonna get bit right here. Hook up in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh no, no, it's the, oh it really God. did. Wow. It really did. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Huh, mine? Oh, here, take it. Oh, that was dope. That was dope. Can't and, believe. And I was just saying, oh, just so you can use it for, for a edit. And then when you were like, oh, oh, and I was like, I thought you were doing it too, just for, for the edit. It's a crappie. You think so? Yeah. Crappie nice. slider coming up. That was ridiculous. Oh, no, it's a trout. It's a trout. Oh, it. Ooh. Yeah, man. You had this on a wild, dude. Oh, oh shoot. Is it in? There you go. Woo! Got it. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, baby. <laughs> Let's go. It worked that time. That was funny, dude. You guys are funny. Yeah. That was epic. Yeah, I was literally. I can't believe that happened. I was literally just going ooh ooh for your video. Uh huh. And then uh, you go ooh, and I thought you were doing the same thing. <laughs> and then didn't, I didn't know you really. Had a on. That was the craziest thing. That's ever happened. Yeah, I did. We're switching up our game plan. We're going to run two flicker sheds and two needlefish now. And uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to stay on the trolling motor as long as we can here until the batteries give out um, to slow our speed down because we are we're going a little too fast for the flicker sheds. So we'll see what happens. You guys stay tuned. We'll see, keep you updated. It's a nice fish. Yeah. 
Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, it's pretty solid. Nice one, Bob. Yeah. Nice one, yeah. buddy. Leroy's next. I'm pretty sure if I call you, you're gonna go. No, I ain't coming back if I don't catch you properly on this pass. On this pass? That's right. He's done. You can't threaten him. Huh? You can't threaten him to bite, Leroy. Yes, I can't. Oh, I got a bite. Oh! <laughs> 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 Alright, Leroy. Oh my god. What the hell? You just need to talk a bunch of smack or, you know, call your shots. <laughs> I think this is a crappie too. He's not fighting like a trout. Like a rake. Oh, rake. Touch. Cha-ching. <laughs> what the heck, Leroy? <laughs> See? I'm not coming to the lake anymore. I told you. <laughs> uh, okay, now I'll come back. I'll come back. Cool. Copy damn. Look at that. Hey. If I don't catch a crappie on this pass, I'm never coming here ever again. <laughs> ever. It worked. So if I get bit, Martin, I'm just going to hand you the rope. Eventually, we won't be able to do this anymore. Oh, here you go, Martin. Here, here. <laughs> what did I just say? If I said I, if I get bit, I'm just going to hand you the rod, Martin. <laughs> Is this finally Martin's first crappie? <laughs> Maybe. That might be a trial. Yeah. It's yeah. running like a trial. Oh, it's a crappie. Oh, it's a crappie. 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 Here. Nice. I got the net. Martin's first crappie! Let's go! <laughs> first crappie! Let's go! Martin's the first double crappie. factor! <laughs> Let's go! Nice! How was that, bro? Awesome. Finally got to knock it off the list. Thank you. Off the Welcome off the bucket you. list. Thank you, Bob. For 2021. 2021. All right, so we've been on a little bit of a dry streak and uh, the wind picked up a lot and uh, I am currently running the trolling motor. Oh, well I was. Oh, it's a crappie. Got a crappie. Sorry, buddy, I'm at the lake fishing. Oh boy, all right. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, oh, no, actually, I don't barely had him on. Barely had him on. Nice. Well, we definitely are going to have some crappie sliders. That's for sure. If we don't catch another fish, we'll catch you in the kitchen. Got the crappie from yesterday. Already beheaded and gutted. Did that right as I got home. So let's fillet these bad boys up. Got the knife all sharpened. Super proud of how I've learned how to sharpen knives. Uh, got this fillet knife super super sharp. It cuts through paper super easy. Not that that's super impressive, but let's see how it cuts through this fish. Whoa, the cat's purring like crazy. She knows it's fish time. And put the knife in that way. Ooh, that's a sharp knife for sure. Look at that. I can actually cut, I left a little bit of meat that I can cut off like that. Give it to the cat. And I can give it to the cat. Come here, come here. Ooh. Is she had a crappie? Yeah. Now our fish actually lays flat really well and we can do the same to the other side, but it should be a little bit easy because that fish isn't rocking on that other side. Do the same thing all the way down the spine. Flip it over, do the same thing that we did. Just break that skin is basically what we're doing so we can get every bit of that meat. Open that up all the way down the spine. Punch the knife through. See, and then now we'll just get our rag again. Pretty nice. Always clean up in between, that way you don't have to introduce water by rinsing off your fish. Just keep everything clean. Rib bones.
So for this recipe, we're gonna use two crappie. We got some really good crappie yesterday. Can you use that for wounds? You can, huh? Skin. Now, since we're making sliders, we're gonna cut these into portions. We're gonna quarter them out, just like this, just so that they could fit on the slider really, really well. We're just gonna go ahead and pre-season all of our crappie. That way we get the flavor right on the fish. Got some Santa Maria style seasoning, that's where we're from, here on the beautiful Central Coast. Got some flour. Put that in there. Just panko, regular panko. Using peanut oil. I'm not gonna fill it up, we're not deep frying. We're just gonna be able to flip these things. Once it gets golden brown on one side, we'll just flip it and then reveal the nice golden crust. Crispy. In here we do have some melted butter. We're gonna use that for our bread. Once we bake them, did you guys know that King's Hawaiian makes slider buns that are actually pre-sliced? That's so legit. So we're gonna put these in the oven. We're gonna brush the baking sheet with our butter and then we're gonna put a layer of butter on top of this and then we'll sprinkle some sesame seeds right over. But once we open them up, we're gonna put a layer of cheese. We're gonna put our crappie, once they're cooked, on top of that cheese, a little bit more cheese on top and we're gonna put the tops of the buns on top and then we'll be able to slice them up and serve them with a side of homemade spicy sriracha mayo. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, and on the side, we will have some of these. If you guys have never tried this, you guys have to. It's pickled okra. Yeah, I know it sounds weird if you've never heard of it or never tried it, but if you guys can find these, they actually have them at most grocery stores. It's actually a pretty popular thing. This, these ones come from Texas, uh, but it's basically pickles, but it's okra. Put those two and two together. Pickle. They're actually really good. But it'll be a really good side for this because it's kind of a palate cleanser. But we'll see when it's all said and done. Extra crunchy goodness. Oh. <laughs> all the no samples. I want a sample so bad. No samples. All right. Only if you share. <laughs> I said share. Mm. Share, 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 share. Wow. Oh. Mm. It's so crispy. It's crazy. Super crunch. Mmm. And now our oven is set to 350 degrees. We're gonna leave it in there from eight to 10 minutes until they're nice and brown and toasty and we'll pull them out and enjoy. So basically all we're doing is really warming up that bread and letting that cheese melt and do its magic while we enjoy one more piece of this. Oh. It is time. It is time. Oh. Take a look at these. Oh. Crappie slider time? It's crappie slider time. Okay. Crappie slider time. Who's going so, first? Wait, what do we got? So we've got some pickled okra. Mm -hmm. And then what is this? We got our... Sriracha mayo. So how do I... So I just dip You can it? dip. You can just dip the slider. Let's go. This is be a dipping. No, mm -hmm. coronavirus. What is that? <laughs> it's a communal bowl. <laughs> yes. If you have it, we both have it. Yep. Too bad. That's a lot. Let's see. Just mm. watching that bun like get mm. soft and pull away. Oh, oh. show them, honey, show them. Show them. Unbelievable. And then look at the butter on the bottom. It's well, the, so crispy. The butter on the bottom is so crispy. It the is 
It's super crisp. Oh. It was cooked well. Good job, honey. Oh. Oh. So we've been really, really, really low carb for like the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. Almost a month. So this is actually going to be my first like bread in a long time. We've been really sticking to veggies and grilled cauliflower. fish. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, broccoli. What else? Mm -hmm. Just salad. Sesame seed bun right there. It's a lot of salad, but here we go. Got to go with the dip. Yeah, but that's amazing. What did you think? <laughs> Mm. On a scale of what, zero to ten? Yeah, ten being the best thing ever. Hmm. It's kind of hard because its own little, it's its own little kind. I mean, I don't do you normally like burgers and stuff. On a scale of zero to ten for like a burger type thing for me, it's like a ten. It's again. A ten? I give it ten. Solid. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I don't do burgers. This is like the first time. I mean, I think we did a, a burger roll. Is that with the cornflakes? Mm -hmm. A fish sandwich. Mm. These are sliders. So the beauty of this recipe as well is you can make nine really quick all at once. Mm. So if you're serving multiple people, really the, the thing that's going to take longest is the prep. But you guys saw, as soon as this fish is all fried and you have that bun that's already open, you just start stacking those. Perfectly sliced. Throw them in the oven mm -hmm. and you could feed so many people, especially when you get one of those big King's Hawaiian rolls. You could actually mm -hmm. use the rolls. I just happened to stumble across these actual slider buns made specifically for sliders. Mm -hmm. And man, it worked so perfectly that the crappie, you can split them up into fours. Mm -hmm. They sit just nicely. And man, oh, it works. And the Hawaiian sweet rolls are so good. Hawaiian sweet rolls are so bomb. Smash that like button for the Hawaiian sweet rolls again. Yeah. And the butter and this amazing cheese. Mm. And the sauce. What about mm. the okra? Explain to people really what this is. Mm. So okra is a vegetable mm -hmm. and they pickle it. So they sit it in vinegar and it pickles. And it makes these nice little okra pickles. The awesome thing is they're super crunchy. And they're filled with seeds. So they're super yummy. They have really good flavor. They make them in a couple of different styles. They do like a mild, a medium, and a hot. If you like a spicy, you like a spicy pickle, try the spicy okra. It's really, really good. Can't go wrong. The okra really cuts through all that flavor and then it almost is like a reset it's almost like when you go smelling like perfume mm -hmm. at like macy's or somewhere like that and then they have that big old jar of coffee beans when you're smelling all this different perfume mm -hmm. it's hard to distinguish the differences until you reset with like the coffee yeah so it's kind of like sure. okra something like this or pickles mm -hmm. it lets you reset for that next bite mm. i like how the buns are so crispy Buns are so crispy, soft. I love me some crispy buns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the crappie is so crispy. Mm. That's another part to this whole thing. It's pretty nice that it was seasoned before we put the crust on mm -hmm. so that fish flavor really comes out. Mm -hmm. mm. It just plays so well. And then frying it, of course, seals in all the juices. So it's just a really nice, juicy piece it's a nice, juicy of slider. fish. That is amazing. I like it. I like it a lot. If we were to Veronica rise this a little bit, I would have still added some lettuce and tomato because I, I love my veggies. Okra is a good substitute though. <laughs> mm. It's a, it's complex as it is. Mm. 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 I'm just going to sit here and eat. Good job, <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's so many variations. If you guys try this, leave it in the comments mm -hmm. what you would do different. Things that you would add. Things that might improve the recipe. Oh man. 
That one is chunky. Holy it's annoying. pretty perfect. Yeah, that's a chunky piece. So yeah, leave in the comments below what you guys think. <clears throat> what you guys would kind of switch up. Some people add like pesto and make it almost like a, a Mediterranean feel or Italian feel. Mm -hmm. You could add salsa. Mm. But guys, if you made it to this part of this video, man, thank you guys so much for yes. being a part of this journey. Really, none of this would be as fun or as exciting without you guys and just the ability to talk back and forth and interact with one another. It's really cool. We've met some amazing people with this channel. This just has to be said, even if my mouth is full. <laughs> but yeah, we, we sincerely appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. God, that bite was so good. Mm. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> uh, you could, nah, man. That's just, I don't know. Lots of good boys, lots of good. I heard angels singing too. I don't know. What <laughs> the heavens opened up and made that all happen. <laughs> we got Martin with the assist over there. Look at those. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the skills. <laughs> I'm on assist duty, bro. Can you take a look? No, I'm not taking a look. Look at those legs too. <laughs> Many people have tried. <laughs> with the sock game strong. Short, short gang. Shorts gang. Shorts gang. Dude, you got some goosebumps. <laughs> it's kind of cold. <laughs> what happened to that one? No, Bob! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why did he bring a banana? <laughs> that was to prove a point. <laughs> so, Martin had a banana on board this whole time. Myth busted. Myth busted. Myth busted. No, we missed like four fish back there. <laughs> we got two, Bob. I love me some crispy buns. Mm-hmm. <laughs>